It's 10 a.m. I woke up a little bit late, but I only really have one to do item today, which is finish my take home exam for AI. And I'm going to get started on that right away. My AI class covers a lot of foundational skills for artificial intelligence search, optimization, basic machine learning algorithms, gradient descent, lots of probability, etc. And this take home exam is testing everything we learned over the semester. It's a lot of computation, a lot, and being someone who usually doesn't like doing things by hand, I spend time writing Python for the computation instead, and in all honesty, that definitely takes more time than just doing it by hand. After a while of working on it, I decided to take a little break and head to get some lunch. The weather was pretty bad, gloomy with no rain, and the food was also quite mid, but what can you do? Right, I'm back from lunch. It's about 1230. I'm about 70% of the way through the exam. So I'm going to try and finish that in the next sitting. And then after that, we're going to reevaluate and see what else I have to do. On a normal day, I'll really just be sitting at my desk for most of the day, just working on homework or projects that I find exciting. Usually I'll start the day by going for a short walk or to the gym, but I didn't do any of that stuff today, just sitting down and working on one of my final exams of the year. Progress was slow because I was listening to music and whatnot, but the exam wasn't too hard and I need a very low score to maintain an A, so I wasn't very stressed at all. And now I'm actually almost done with the exam. It's about 1.40. I have four questions left. Very, very chill. Each of the questions look pretty long though. There's they have really long descriptions, which is annoying, but I guess that's fine. I'm obviously not going to show you any details about the exam because it's not even going to be due by the time I post this video and I don't want to get in trouble, but hopefully you guys enjoy me continuing to work on on this. Just as a location A1, there are two absorbing equation states where once she enters them, she cannot leave. Alright, I've submitted it. I don't have anything else to do today. My next exam is on Monday. That's five days from now. It's physics. I need a really low score to keep an A. So I'm feeling alright. I'm going to take a little bit of a break right now, figure out what I want to do, and then get to doing that. It's probably going to be working on learning OCaml because I'm really interested in functional programming these days. After finishing, I kind of just sat around and watched YouTube while forgetting to film and then headed out to the dining hall to get some dinner. No cooking because there's no point in getting groceries with a week left in the semester. Don't comment on how crappy this dinner seems, I got vegetables and chicken right after. I also got a coffee and some dessert because I really needed sugar. I'm going to start working on building something with OCaml right now, but I don't know what exactly to build, so let's ask ChatGPT. I really love using ChatGPT these days when I'm coding because it helps me think through my ideas in a much more detailed manner and because it lets me get things done quicker, but by far the best part about it is that it gets rid of some boilerplate work, which means I remain a lot more interested in any side projects I start. I wanted to learn OCaml, a functional programming language, something I don't have a lot of experience with and I thought ChatGPT might be of some use. After asking it about some project ideas, I settled on building a ray tracer in OCaml, which apparently is a thing a lot of people have done. I was a little lost on how to go from my one hour crash course knowledge to building a ray tracer, so I asked for a list of steps I would need to take, no code, just some general tips, and I got to work. If you're unaware, a ray tracer is basically used to simulate light in some sort of 3D rendering. I set up a build environment, organized folders, and started typing away at the very basic building blocks of the project. Okay, I think it's going pretty well. I'm learning a lot. As you can tell, I'm building a ray tracer, which is apparently well suited for a functional programming language like OCaml. And I'm going to continue working on this for a while and I'll catch up with you guys afterwards. I don't expect to have anything working right now by the end of the night, but I'll catch up with you guys afterwards when I move on to something else. Okay, I got everything I needed to do for the day done. It's 9.30, I just finished showering. I'm probably gonna head to bed right now. Maybe I'll code a little bit more. But if you're wondering why I didn't really do much today besides sit inside and work, it's because the semester ends in a week. My second year of college ends in a week and I only have work left to do after which I can relax for a little bit before I start my internship in the big old San Francisco. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button, leave a subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.